Hi, this is Teresa from Flash TV. Today we're going to Floating World Comics. Check, check, check it out. This is Conrad. We're on our way to Floating World Comics. Follow me. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, yeah. Uh, you like comics? I like movies. Yeah? What do you like about them? I like Rocky, yeah. You like books? I like books. Comic books? I like books. It's great. Hey guys, we made it! We're at Floating World! Let's go! What's your name? My name is Jason. Where are we at? Uh, we're at Floating World Comics. Floating World Comics. What do you love about comics? I love the artwork and the stories. I like that um, many of them can just be made by one or two people, which gives them a lot of creative freedom. Um, so you really get, um, you know, basically their vision, you know, comes through right onto the page with very little interference. Right. So I like that freedom. I like that too. How'd you get started? Um, it was about five years ago. I decided that I wanted to open a bookstore. So I had to do a little bit of research um, online. The city of Portland has some good resources for starting a business. Um, also had to talk to a bank, you know, about getting, getting some loans and stuff. And then, yeah, it was just a matter of, of taking the chance to start your own business. Right. How do you curate your shop? A lot of it is my own personal tastes, so it starts there. Um, I, I like to feature a lot of independent comics and certain writers who do the mainstream stuff. So that way I try to um, highlight good books so when customers come in they're not wasting their money you know, on, on crappy comics. So hopefully if you sell them good books they'll, they'll come back wanting more. And then beyond that, I, I do uh, take a lot of customer recommendations, um, listen to what people are interested in, and, and then I'll, I'll place orders that way. 
Can you tell us about your gallery? Sure, that's something that we've done since the beginning of this um, the store. So every month we do a different art exhibit, and because we're downtown, we participate in the first Thursday gallery shows. So yeah, every, that means we've done over 60 shows uh, featuring local artists, artists from all around the world. Uh, we do book releases, um, sometimes we'll do themed art exhibits, fundraisers. Um, tonight's show will be a Habibi-inspired art show for Craig Thompson's new graphic novel. Um, he has some friends to do artwork based on his new book, so we'll have that on display later tonight. What's the deal to record? Um, in the past couple years, we've partnered with um, some other businesses. Uh, first was Grass Hat Gallery, and then now that we just moved into our new space last month, uh, my friend Paul used to be part of Discourage Records, and um, he's just had thousands of records in storage for the past year, so he's really excited to have a, a retail space again. And so far it's been really successful. People like the selection of records back there. Um, they're finding a lot of things they haven't seen in person for a while, so it's been good. What's your favorite thing in the store right now? That's a good question. Um, I would have to say... Um, the Incal by uh, Jodorowsky and Mobius is a great science fiction book from the 80s. And it's been out of print for about 10 or 15 years. Um, Mobius is one of my favorite artists. He's a French artist. But his, his artwork and his books are very hard to find. Um, but just this year, those books came back into print. So it's a pleasure for me to be able to sell that book to customers again. Yeah. And it's sold out again. So we have a few left. And then it'll be gone once again. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thanks, Conrad. Thank you.